Hi everyone, my name is Richard and we're back for the second part for how to create PDFs with Tally uh, using make.com, Google Docs, uh, Google Drive and so on and send it via email. Um, just to warn you, this part of the tutorial is, ver is comparably very technical to, to what Tally is offering, to what Make is offering. So um, it's really addressing those of you who, who want to learn Make, who uh, would really be, be responsible for their own documents, how to design them, how the workflow is running and so on. Um, but yeah, if, if, if you're one of them, um, hang in, uh, we're gonna get there. So what are we building? We're, uh, we're continuing uh, with the form we, we had in the first part, uh, synergetic.com. I go synergetic, um, where we just filled in those three, uh, or we answered those three, three questions and we generated a PDF of it. Then. But this time, what we want to do is, we even want to, to uh, insert signatures. So you could potentially design contracts or whatever you want. Please uh, talk to your lawyer um, in, in case you have any questions about the legality and everything. Um, I'm just showing you how it's done, right? So if you submit that, it goes through make.com and uh, at the end of the day, um, we, we send an email to, to this email address so you could send a contract to your, um, to your respondent, right? Um, it takes a little bit longer because what we're doing under the hood is we're uh, swapping out images, which uh, just takes a few seconds longer than what we did before. Um, but uh, well, it works equally well. Um, yeah, so so let's get into it. On the telly side, what did we change? Not a lot. Um, it shows, ah, yeah, there we go. Uh, we didn't change a lot. We just added two signature fields, um, nothing special. That's it. Whereas one is optional and the other one is required, right? This may be important for the um, make scenario. On our Google Drive, uh, we didn't do anything else either. We do have the folder, tele PDF demo, uh, demo uh, completed forms. Ah, I know what's going on. Uh, the scenario is turned off. <laughs> um, and on make side, we did do some adjustments. So basically all of the changes here, and as you can see, it's, uh, <laughs> it didn't process, uh, yeah, process the, the incoming trigger because it's turned off. So let's watch what's happening. Uh, tele submission is coming in. We again, we create the, a template with the variables but first we need to get the content in order to know which images we are replacing and then we insert the partner signature we insert your own signature and this part is again the same we download the google docs uh, convert it to a pdf and send it out as an email the result this should have come up earlier is then um yeah is then uh, this result and i actually still have a have an uh, error inside the process, but we are going to fix it now. So uh, the signatures are in here. Um, in our Google Documents, what changes uh, do we do? We, we added two parts here. Uh, we said your signature, your partner's signature, and some, some underline here. And also we added two images. And this is basically crucial because the technique we're going to use is there is a module in Make saying, um, replace an image with a new image replace an image with a new image and this is what we're using so basically what we're doing is we i submitted the teleform i did some random things to know how how uh, how high and how wide the, the the images are and then i inserted those um two images here and the crucial part is uh, a multiple things so first i'm always using uh, in front of the text and as a description, I put in something unique. In this case, it's descriptive. It says your signature. And then uh, for the second image, again, uh, in front of the text, but also the description says uh, partner signature, right? It's, it's different from what is before. And this is important so we can uh, differentiate inside of make which image we're replacing. Um, so, so let's look at it. If we try to replace an image in the template, module where we create the document from a template, we only really get one image here. And I do think this because the module does not, uh, yeah, 
find any images which are in front of the text. I think that's actually the issue because this one here is um, positioned in, in line with, with the text. And this is what it's the, is displayed in the module, whereas those are in front of the text and it makes it possible for us to, to put them anywhere we want. Um, <clears throat> the downside is that we do not get it in this module. Otherwise, we wouldn't need this one, for example. <clears throat> but now, as we do not know, uh, as, we, as we do not have a simple input field here, we need to kind of know which image to replace. And this module here offers us um, the, the option to, <clears throat> to insert the image object ID uh, along with an image URL. And now let's fix the issue. I'm still having the question, please sign this so we know you're not lying. Uh, if we replace this with, if you're in a relationship, please ask your partner to sign. Um, okay, let's remove this, put it like this. Uh, what was the formula? I think it was first. Uh, yeah, first and then get your uh, Yeah. Okay, so the sad thing here in, in Make is that the, the signatures aren't properly, um, yeah, properly, I don't know, parsed in the, in the metadata. Um, so what we need to do is you, we need to get the URL. So when you look at the output, we do get an array for, for these signature fields. So what we want to get is the first item of this array. And then from this first item, we want to get the URL. And this is where the signature, the image of the signature is actually stored. So this is this function doing. And here I had the wrong question, whereas here, and now it's the correct one. And now here's the one for your own signature, right? Both is the same um, idea here. And the object ID here's the very, the, the, the com complicated part, right? How do we know that? Um, and it's also dynamic because we create a new document every time. We cannot use the template object ID because we create a new document and with the new, new document, the, image get, the images get new IDs. So what we need to do is we need to get the content of the document first. And then inside of the positioned object array, there are these positioned objects, right? The images. So the first one here, this is the object ID we need. And now how do we know which one is which? We know it by the description. So the description says your signature. Remember, this is what we put in here. For the second item of the positioned object, the description's partner signature. Again, what we put into the description of the image. So how do we get that? And this is where <laughs> You really need to be proficient with make, you know what to do with functions, you know, need to know JSON, but let's get into it. So there is a map function, which basically goes through every item of an array. And that's what we want to do. We want to go through every item of an array and what we want to get, uh, for, of the, uh, we want to go through every item of the array positioned objects, right? This is where our images are. And what we want to get is the object ID but we only want to get the object ID for those where under positioned object properties and then embedded object and then description where it says partner signature. Um, and if this is true, if we get an item like this, then we want the first one because we only have one, right? We know that uh, because the map function gives back an array but we actually want the value. So we need to uh, use the map function and then first. So let's go through it again. It's the, in the positioned objects, we want to go through all of these objects and we want to find this one. We want to get the object ID of this one where the positioned objects, object properties, dot embedded object, dot description. So here it needs to say partner signature. If that's the case, we want to get the object ID. So that's exactly what we're saying here. And if you're um, yeah, following me, you can simply take exactly that function uh, or this, this setup, swap out the partner signature what, with whatever you put into the um, description and it's working. Just make sure to use the positioned object array. You might need to run this once because I think when you use the module the first time, it doesn't come up, but still um, after that, it, it works. Um, just for the uh, scenario here in make, what did I do? 
because the signature, the partner signature is optional, what I actually said is, okay, if uh, the, um, the URL the, for the partner signature, um, if that one exists, then insert the partner signature. But if it does not exist, then insert a white image. And what I did here is I simply took a screen, screenshot from the white in the Google Docs um, and I Googled image hosting and then I used the URL to, dig, to do exactly that. But remind you, you need to use the same partner signature here, the, this function, because we want to replace the partner signature, right? Um, and then for your own signature, we did the same. We just swapped out the your signature, the partner signature with your signature. And um, yeah, well, we, we use the, um, the, the URL from the question where we ask for your signature, right? And if you do all of that and you were able to follow me, you're able to, um, yeah, get, get PDFs including um, signatures uh, basically from, from tele uh, submissions basically for free because make offers a great free plan. So let's do it again. Um, this time it should it should reach us sooner. Jettake.com cat test. And this time I leave this blank to show you that this part works as well. So, okay, there we go, there we go, it's the test, this one is white now, <clears throat> it's working exactly like we want it to do, right, so yeah, this is how you do it, I hope it wasn't too technical, it's still basically no code I would say, and um, so honestly, it's a little bit challenging for me as well every time I do it because usually you set it up, you forget about it, it just runs through. Um, however, uh, once you, you get the grip of what's, go what's going on, it's uh, really always the same. So um, yeah, I encourage you to, to tackle it and, and, and go for it. If you do have any questions, please let me know. Bye-bye.